Yo, what up? Welcome to Mo Boxing No Problem. I'm Sam Reyes Jr. And in today's video, we'll be going over everything to know about the upcoming fight between Erickson Leuven versus Sebastian Fundora. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's begin with the fight poster. The first thing to note is the fight will be promoted by Premier Boxing Champions. It will air on Showtime in the U.S. on Saturday, April 9th. Erickson Lubin will make his return to the ring after a 10-month layoff, not having fought since June 26, 2021, in a fight he won by six-round KO against Jason Rosario. Sebastian Fundora will be making his return to the ring after a four-month layoff. Fundora last fought on December 5, 2021, in a fight he won by unanimous decision against Sergio Garcia. The fight will be contested at the Super Welterweight limit of 154 pounds and is scheduled for 12 rounds. The main on the car fights for the event start at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. You can expect Leuven and Fundora to make their ring walks around 9 p.m. Pacific, 12 a.m. EST. As for the fight location, that will be out of the theater at Virgin Hotels in Las Vegas, Nevada. Next, we'll move on to the tell of the tape. Let's start with the overall record to see how the fighters stack up. Here we can see Erickson Lubin has had 25 bouts with a record of 24 wins, 1 loss, and 0 draws, and 17 knockouts. Sebastian Fundora has had 19 bouts with a record of 18 wins, no losses, 1 draw, and 12 knockouts. As far as the power department, Lubin has the edge in power ever so slightly. 68% KO ratio for Lubin compared to Fundora's 63% KO ratio. Next, we'll go over the physical attributes. Fundora has the edge in height by 8 inches and also enjoys a 5.5 inch reach advantage over Leuven. As far as fighting stance, both fighters fight out of the southpaw stance. With regards to their age, Leuven is older by 2 years. Leuven is 26 years old, while Fundora is 24 years old. Leuven made his debut back in 2013 and has racked up 110 pro rounds, while Fundora debuted back in 2016 and has accumulated 88 pro rounds. For having 22 more pro rounds overall, and the better fighters on his resume, I'm giving the edge experience to Erickson Lubin. Next, we'll switch to the rankings. Starting off with Box Rec, Lubin is ranked at number six, while Fundora is ranked at number seven. Moving on to the ring ratings, Lubin is ranked at number four, and Fundora is ranked at number six. And finally, to finish off with the organizational rankings, Erickson Lubin is ranked by two of the four organizational bodies. He's ranked number six by the WBO and also number one by the WBC. As far as Fundora, he's ranked by only one of the four organizational bodies. He is ranked at number two by the WBC. Now moving on to the betting odds, which is being brought to you by our sponsor, BetUS. I'll leave a link for them in the description of this video in case you'd like to use them to place your bets for the fight and also take advantage of the sign-up bonus they're offering for my viewers. Sebastian Fundora is a slight favorite at minus 125, meaning you have to bet $125 to make a $100 profit, while Erickson Lubin is a plus 100 slight underdog, meaning for every $100 you bet, you make a $100 profit. Overall, Lubin's chance of winning is 47.37%, while Fundora has a 52.63% chance of winning. And finally, we'll wrap up this video with my prediction. And I am taking the slight underdog and predicting Erickson Leuven to win by unanimous decision. This is a very intriguing matchup with two fighters in their prime or entering their prime, testing their skills to see who is the better fighter and is ready to take that next step to a title fight next. Fundora has had a lot of advantages going for him in this fight, including his ridiculous height and reach for the weight and relentless work rate. But he does prefer to fight on the inside and smother his punches. The inside fighting will actually favor Lubin, who is an excellent counterpuncher and has enough power to make Fundora respect him. I expect Lubin to work the body and beat Fundora to the punch on most exchanges. Lubin might even have Fundora hurt in the later rounds, but when this happens, I think Fundora will go into defensive mode, which is why I think Lubin is more likely to win by decision instead of by knockout. But one way or another, the hammer Erickson Lubin will, will stop the tearing inferno of Sebastian Fundora in a competitive fight that goes to decision. And there you have it. You now know everything there's to know about Erickson Lubin versus Sebastian Fundora. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. And also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, remember, mo boxing. It's no problem. Peace.